India made history. On August 23, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 touched down gently on the moon's surface. This incredible feat made India the fourth country to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon. What's even more amazing? Chandrayaan-3 landed on the moon's South Pole, a region shrouded in mystery and unexplored until now. This was no easy task. The South Pole is a treacherous landscape. It's filled with craters and shadowed regions. But the rewards are worth the risk. Scientists believe the South Pole holds secrets to the moon's past and the potential for future human exploration. Chandrayaan 3's success is a testament to India's growing space program. It's a source of national pride and inspiration for future generations of scientists and explorers. The journey to this historic moment was filled with countless hours of hard work, dedication, and perseverance by the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO. Engineers and scientists meticulously planned and tested every component of the mission, ensuring that nothing was left to chance. The success of Chandrayaan-3 has brought joy not just to the scientific community, but to the entire nation. This achievement has placed India firmly on the global map of space exploration, showcasing its technological prowess and ambition. As we look to the future, this mission will undoubtedly inspire countless young minds to dream big and reach for the stars. With visionary leadership and a commitment to pushing the boundaries of what is possible, India's space program is poised for even greater accomplishments in the years to come. Who knows? Perhaps one day we will see human colonies on the moon, with India playing a pivotal role in this new era of space exploration. For now, let's celebrate this giant leap for India, a moment that will be remembered for generations to come. The moon's south pole is like a locked treasure chest waiting to be opened. It's a place of perpetual darkness in some areas where sunlight never reaches. With towering mountains casting long shadows, these regions remain in darkness for billions of years. And within these shadows, scientists believe, lies something incredibly valuable, water ice, a potential game changer for space exploration. Why is water ice so important? It's not just about quenching thirst. Water is essential for human life, and having it on the moon could support long-term missions. Having a source of water on the moon could revolutionize space exploration, making it possible to set up permanent bases. It could be used for drinking, growing food, and sustaining life in space. Additionally, water can be split into hydrogen and oxygen, creating rocket fuel, which is crucial for deep space missions. The South Pole's unique conditions, with its permanently shadowed regions, make it the perfect place for water ice to remain frozen for billions of years, undisturbed by the sun's heat. Chandrayaan-3 was on a mission to find out if this lunar treasure truly existed, aiming to unlock the secrets hidden in the shadows of the moon's south pole. The rumors were true. The scientific community had been buzzing with speculation, and now we have confirmation. Chandrayaan-3 confirmed the presence of water ice on the moon. This is a monumental discovery that changes everything we thought we knew about our closest celestial neighbor. The mission's rover, Pragyan, used its special instruments to analyze the lunar surface. These instruments were designed with cutting-edge technology to detect even the smallest traces of water. It detected the unmistakable signature of water molecules. This wasn't just a trace amount. The data showed significant deposits of water ice. This discovery is a game-changer for space exploration. It means that future missions could potentially use the Moon's resources, reducing the need to carry everything from Earth. It opens up incredible possibilities for future missions. We could see a new era of space travel, where the Moon serves as a stepping stone for deeper space exploration. Imagine lunar bases, powered by the Moon's resources. These bases could support long-term human presence, making the Moon a hub for scientific research and exploration. Picture astronauts growing their own food in lunar greenhouses. This would not only sustain them, but also provide fresh produce, a luxury in space travel. 
The discovery of water ice on the moon isn't just about practicality. It also has profound implications for our understanding of the moon's history and its relationship with Earth. It also deepens the mystery of the moon's formation and its connection to Earth. Scientists are now more curious than ever about the origins of this water. Where did this water come from? Was it delivered by comets? Or has it been there since the moon's formation? How long has it been there? These questions open up new avenues for research and exploration. These are questions scientists are eager to answer. The discovery of water ice on the moon is just the beginning of a new chapter in lunar exploration. The Enigma of the Unknown Material As Pragyan was exploring, it stumbled upon something unexpected, a mysterious material with an unusual composition. Scientists are still scratching their heads, trying to figure out what it is. Could this be evidence of volcanic activity in the moon's past? Or is it something even more intriguing, something we haven't even considered yet? Every new discovery on the moon seems to raise more questions than answers. This finding highlights the importance of continued exploration. The moon is full of surprises, and each mission brings us closer to unraveling its secrets. Hot spots on a cold surface. Chandrayaan-3's thermal sensors picked up something strange, unusual heat signatures coming from the lunar surface. These hot spots were unexpected and hinted at something going on beneath the surface. Could it be geothermal activity? Is there still heat emanating from the moon's core? Or could it be something else entirely, like the interaction of solar radiation with the lunar surface? Understanding these heat signatures could provide valuable insights into the moon's internal structure and its geological history. It's like taking the moon's temperature and trying to decipher its story. Secrets Beneath the Surface Chandrayaan-3 wasn't just looking at the surface, it was also peering beneath it. The mission used ground-penetrating radar to map the lunar subsurface. What it found was astonishing evidence of hidden structures. These structures could be anything from ancient lava tubes to buried craters. They offer a glimpse into the moon's turbulent past, a time when volcanoes erupted and asteroids bombarded its surface. Exploring these underground structures could be crucial for future lunar missions. They could provide shelter from radiation and meteoroids, making them ideal locations for lunar bases. The Moon and Beyond A Future of Exploration Chandrayaan-3's discoveries have ignited our imaginations. The Moon is no longer a barren, lifeless rock in the sky. It's a world of potential, a stepping stone to further exploration. The discoveries of water ice, unusual materials, heat signatures, and hidden structures have opened up a new chapter in lunar exploration. They've given us more reasons than ever to return to the moon and unlock its mysteries. Chandrayaan-3's legacy will live on, inspiring future missions to the moon and beyond. It's a reminder that the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered.